<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here with Jim Campbell. How are you, Jim? I'm very well, thanks, Lee. How are you? Very good, thank you. And um, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, okay, I've been uh, vegan for oh, 16 years now. Mm -hmm. And before that I was a vegetarian for about three years. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Why did you become vegetarian in the first place? Um, I read a book called um, Concern of Beware mm -hmm. by an American author called uh, Beatrice Trum Hunter. Okay. And I haven't heard that one mentioned before uh, in all the my book, interviews. The book was sort of um, printed in the 70s. Okay. And uh, I picked it up second hand at you know, sort of a local market. Mm -hmm. And uh, look, it just sort of um, started the, uh, you know, the train running. Mm -hmm. And from there I sort of started reading uh, you know, The Mad Cowboy and mm -hmm. Died for a New America and all the, uh, you know, all the relevant books. Yep. And I just really, really researched it. And, uh, and then from there to veganism? How, uh, how long was that? Oh, about three years. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I gave up meat first and dairy mm -hmm. and uh, poultry. And the last, the last thing I gave up was um, the fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. Similar to me too, so mm. I get the red meat first and the chicken and then the fish. Yeah. And, yeah it seems to be similar to the blue. Yeah, I, I think guess. so, yeah. yeah. Maybe it's easier to give up the meat first or I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think because it's red, the blood maybe, yeah. the attachment okay. with that is really yeah. light or life versus death. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you don't maybe see it as much with some of the other stuff. But I think too, you sort of, um, you become involved with the animal side of things as well as soon mm. as you sort of. Um, head down that sort of, um, you know, that vegan path mm. and uh, it's, it's just hard not to get involved, you know. Mm -hmm. And so Jim's from Launceston but we are in Brisbane at Don't the moment. Don't pop that against me. <laughs> so tell me, Launceston in Tasmania in Australia, tell me what Launceston is like. I've never been to Tasmania. Uh, I'll probably get shot for saying this but Launceston is like a big, um, a big country town mm -hmm. um, and they've got a long way to go. Yeah. There are a couple of um, there's a two vegan cafes as such, uh, but uh, the, the vegan scene down there is fairly, um, fairly limited. Mm -hmm. So I've come to Brisbane to, to be interviewed by you and to mm -hmm. uh, sample some fine uh, vegan food. And there's a list of places we're going this week, so you and will... And I'm looking forward to it very much. <laughs> You'll definitely have a good selection. What we? We've had Veggie Rama so far, there'll be The Green Edge, Vegan Grocery, mm -hmm. Mandala, From Earth and Water. Um, Yum Cha, all those down the Gold Coast, so oh. Brisbane and Gold Coast. I'm salivating already. <laughs> you'll add a few kilograms by the time you go home to your body weight. I have to work it off. <laughs> so, um, what what do you do um, down in, in Tasmania? Uh, I work for uh, a company that um, provides security for um, mobile phones and, um, mm -hmm. and computers. Uh, so, my sort of specialty area is um, Android and uh, Microsoft. Uh, but I have been sort of concentrating on uh, Android at the moment. Yeah. And uh, it's just a lit job I love. It's hard work, um, you know, long days sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, no, I love it. And you're very well versed across all the social media platforms, in particular the Viva La Vegan social media platforms. Well, it's just one of my favourites. <laughs> That's how Jim and I met, because Jim's one of my most vocal fans online. <laughs> oh, since about 2006, <laughs> off and on. <laughs> but no, it's, um, your website's really good and I enjoy it, and uh, the information is, is just sort of top notch. You know? And so Google Plus, we both love Google Plus at the mm -hmm. moment. Why? Why do you like it? I think it's the most interactive at the moment. It's mm -hmm. the most uh, responsive, and uh, really, I think you, be, you meet a better class of people. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not trying not to be. Not as much fighting, is there? No, yeah. you go on Facebook and that, and uh, you know everyone's sort of shouting at each other, mm -hmm. or and you just haven't got time for that. Mm -hmm. There's more important things to be done, and uh, yeah. And you know, more people like I'm, I do the exact same thing I do with Google Plus mm -hmm. as I do with the other um, social media. But there seems to be a lot more interaction. There seems to be more positivity, and I think um, you know that I don't know why would that be for Google Plus? Why do you why do you think? Um, because it's new. Not everyone's on there yet. Or? I think there's still a bit of a novelty factor, and mm -hmm. they they seem to be getting um, new people join, joining all the time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, there seems to be a lot more people who are interested in sort of um, social justice mm -hmm. issues as well. Mm -hmm. uh, not just animals, but you know, um, women and uh, you know, various things like that. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, yeah, it's really good. And uh, 
second on the list I'd have to go for Twitter, but uh, sorry Facebook. Mm. Yeah. And I guess like another good thing with Google, like with, you know, Facebook at the moment, they've changed their algorithms and everything. So even if you like a page, like for example, you like Viva the Vegan, um, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see every single post for Viva, but if you're on Google and Twitter, you will at some stage. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you have to hunt for it. Yeah. But uh, if you you know search for you know just uh, put in the search for Viva the Vegan, mm -hmm. all your posts are there anyway. Yeah. So you can sort of go that way as well. I find a lot of people, especially with Facebook, they don't necessarily go to a page anymore. They just read the mm -hmm. post if it's on their news feed. They just read the post. That's it. They either like it or they skip by yeah. it. I think not many people seem to go to pages anymore. You've got sort of a limited options with Facebook as mm -hmm. well with what you can actually do with the post too, haven't yeah, you? That's true. Yeah. Uh, whereas you've got more sort of. Um, more opportunity than G Plus to uh, to sort of spread it far and wide. Mm -hmm. and if you've got an important message, like a, a vegan message or animal rights, mm -hmm. uh, you'll certainly reach a, a far wider audience. Mm -hmm. And for people like yourself who are in, you know, sort of heavily involved in you know in the vegan movement, um, it's just an ideal platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially now that you ha they've linked to YouTube to Google mm -hmm. Plus as well. You've, if you well, have a, a YouTube channel, you have to have the Google Plus. Well, account. it was a bit of an outcry about that, wasn't it? Of course. <laughs> Remember, uh, I couldn't comment for like weeks. It was ridiculous. <laughs> and a lot of people said silence at last. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, it has. But it's um, people have to accept it. I mean, I think you have to. Um, Google is a way to go. Mm. I mean, Google are the uh, masters mm. and they own so many different things mm -hmm. as well don't they so i think it's only a matter of time oh, i'm sure it is yeah mm. and if you're with google plus well you're natural enough you're with uh, youtube and mm. uh, google keep or google drive or mm. you know whatever the case may be so it's it's easy it's easy sharing mm. Mm. and could you give some tips to people that use um mobile to communicate with people any anything they should do or shouldn't be doing uh no not really it's just a case of as long as everyone's aware, and I'm sure they are these days, that uh, all their um, all their information is being stored in a database somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they do these days is a thing called metadata, whereas they can say that um, on you know at such and such a time or a certain day, Jim Campbell found Lee Chantel, uh, not to look at the actual message, but just the fact that I have called you mm -hmm. at that time of date on that particular number. But uh, apart from that, it's just, um, you know, just go for it, mm. experiment. Mm. And be careful what you share. Uh, be careful what you say. And uh, to be a success in all of these things is, um, it comes down to your posts as well and your mm. shares. You've got to make it interesting. Mm. And the other good thing is too, you've got to interact with people. Mm. And show, you know, show people a bit of credit for their efforts as they put out, mm. you know, a, a funny picture or something like mm. that. Acknowledge it, mm. and they'll respond in kind by, you know, sort of fussing on your posts and uh, mm. wanting to follow you, and, and then everything just uh, snowballs from there. Mm. And Jim is the person who came up with the title for my um, about to be released book called "There's a Vegan in the Kitchen." And I have seen it. May I say, what a stunner! <laughs> Absolutely beautiful pictures and the recipes. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait for my coffee. <laughs> How'd you come up with that idea and many other ideas that you put um, forward to me? I've always been a bit of a uh, sort of a poet and mm. a bit of a wordsmith, and I, mm. um, all my life, English was my best subject at school, and I've always me loved too. words mm. and language. And uh, you just play with words. It's um, it's like writing a song. Mm. Um, you get words that rhyme, or whatever the case may be, or if you're not into rhyme. Mm. You get words that sort of um, are alliterative or whatever the case may be, but you play with words. Mm -hmm. yeah. You create. So instead of creating a painting, you're creating something with, uh, with words. Well, yeah. thank you for the creation. <laughs> but uh, no, it's, um, I'm sure it's going to do very, very well. Thank you, Jim. So do you have any tips for um, people um, who are a bit older in their life that want to go vegan? Um, look, there's no... You've just got to make the decision and go for it. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to be healthy, and uh, look, veganism is not the, uh, the be all that ends all. Um, that's not to say that if you turn vegan when you're 50 or 55, that's going to stop you getting um, cancer or you know something like that. It's just not the case. But you will, 
mitigate certain uh, you know, certain aspects of um, you know, sort of some diseases. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be better for you. If you're looking at sort of um, whole foods, clean foods, uh, everyone benefits. The environment, uh, you know, wins. The animals win, mm -hmm. and the uh, the individual wins as well. What's your favourite food you like? Tofu. Making? Tofu. Tofu. I love tofu. How do you like it? Uh, I, I snort to cut the tofu. <laughs> That's a visual. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Sorry. I started off with silk and tofu, then I went to the extra firm. Oh yeah. I just love the tofu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And I love a tofu and tofu scramble. Mm, yeah, yeah, I love that too. So quick, so easy and uh, just really nutritious. And if you went out somewhere to eat, what would you like? What would be the favourite thing you would order? Um, well, sometimes you have to compromise and sometimes if you if you want to be sort of social and go out with family or friends, whatever the case may be, sometimes you have to go somewhere where you wouldn't normally go. Mm -hmm. So then you might just end up having a, a garden salad or something like mm -hmm. that. But at least you're, you're still maintaining the social mm -hmm. aspect as such. Uh, but sometimes you have to make a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. But I, I do like um, sort of sour tofu and just anything with tofu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, Jim, if someone wants to be in contact with you online, what are your social media channels? Uh, I'm on YouTube, I'm on G+, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Tumblr, so any of those. So just look for Jim Campbell? Yes, please, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for taking My the time pleasure. out today. Thank you very much for the interview, Lou. And no problem. And keep in touch for more interviews with inspiring vegans and see vivalavegan.net for more information. And don't forget Lee's new cookbook, okay? <laughs> it's not out yet. It's it coming. will be. <laughs> Soon. It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> Bye. Bye.